We did panic this weekend. And I need to drive this car home. I don't think it would have made it very far. 700 miles. Went through the gas tank, went through the carb. It runs, it drives, flush all the fluids. Besides the radiator, we did transmission, differential, and engine. And then Stephanie actually washed it and cleaned it because it was pretty gross and nasty in here. Don't like cold starts. We're definitely <laughs> definitely have it pinned. We're definitely making it seven hundred miles. Okay, definitely just stalled again. Oh my god, this thing keeps stalling at this point. We don't have any cars to get us home. Freaking Jason's car's broken, my car's broken, and this car does not like cold starts. We're out here stalling, stalling automatics. Boosterless conversion. So before we leave, we gotta swap out this battery because this is John's battery. Then gotta fix this terminal because this wire is just kinda chilling up here. I really don't know what's going on with it. The battery tied down so it doesn't get chewed in the alternator. And then, I mean, Brickmaster is not leaking. Okay. Before we leave Oregon, we have to install coilovers. Max Speeding Rods gave us new coilovers for this car, which we have the old version. This is our Jamaican bobsled. It is a 99 Corolla with a 1ZZ that's been swapped out too many times. And a transmission that doesn't have third gear or fourth gear. Rack up this car. Lift her up, preferably at a locked level, like here. Oh, nice and loose. There you go. Too. Two max speeding rods. Oh, they sent sweaters too. I see. Oh, we even have a badge for our trunk. Good. Look at this. Woo. Man. Check that out. This yeah. is like the future. The finish and the build quality looks. A little better and they're adjustable these aren't adjustable old max speeding new max speeding more or less we match the heights on them now we just got to toss them back on the car stick them back in there you fucking fell out i should just 3d scan the whole thing and then you can 3d print just a little model of it Let's uh, lift this up and get it off the locks. There we go. Okay, so got this back in the shop. Got to put my plates on. John's going to 3D scan this side. Little dent, little dinger on that door. I mean, maybe this door's more straight, but there's a dent on this fender. Whatever. This thing does not hold cold start, but I'm confident it's going to run. But let's uh, spray some stuff and try to free up any linkage that could be sticky. It's kind of sticky, right? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe 30 foot pounds of torque. Okay, roll it back down. Uh, 
Okay, work that up and down. Whoa. Is that a difference? Yeah. I can <laughs> see it. Right? Try lubricant. If you spray like silicone or stuff, it's gonna attract dirt and dust. I mean, obviously there's probably a bunch of dirt in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big difference. And we got new plates for this car. Thank you, Tina Kotek from Oregon. OF, only fans, and 0870 for 1987. Boom, these plates are sick, huh? Okay, these things are rusted. We're gonna put some croil because I know for a fact these things are gonna strip out right now. You guys ever watch Surf Ninjas? Look at this guy. Phillips. What size? 25, 25 mil? mil? What the hell? Who even has 25? A 25 12 point. Oh, damn, this is gonna. Vice grip? Yeah, it's not gonna grab. Okay, you're rolling. You took longer to calibrate. Yeah, it looks like a piece of mush. Yeah, the problem is because the doors, there's no, it's just like flat across here. It's probably going to fuck up. And How's that going, Jason? Negative. It took us 30 minutes to put on coilovers, but it's taking us an hour to get these bolts out. What is this, Panic at the Disco? Mm -hmm. Got strobe lights. What's the mainframe say? The mainframe? Oh. You hacking the mainframe? Is yeah, this the matrix? It's matrix, yeah. I'm gonna see what the Corolla is really made out of. A bunch of zeros and ones. Yeah. Five hours later, Jason finally. We gotta do the fronts too next. Yeah, are we gonna put those screws back? Are we gonna use the same hardware? Let's tap it. All right, this thing hasn't been registered since 04. So this thing has been sitting in a cave for 20 years. Things are getting serious. Jason is. Right now. Yeah. You're already ruining it. Hey. Just, just break the license plate off. You wanna um. Oh, there's a glitch in the matrix. You even picked up that uh corner molding. The dent right there too. Oh, dude, yeah, looks pretty straight though. Yeah, it's pretty good. Then it gets a little curvature to it. See, it's not like perfect. Oh, I know. So it's like oh, I could put that in the model easily, but yeah, damn. Oh, I think I fixed the choke on this. Started up, didn't have to pump the gas. We're idling right now. Yeah, 1600. Let's see if it drops when it warms up. All right, was wiggling this wire around, freaking pulled this fuse out. The freaking pin is still in there. It's rust, it's just like corroded in there. And that goes part of this, and I want a feasible link. So we're gonna have to fix some stuff. And then you gotta fix this custom wiring. You gotta too. fix that wire that's just dangling. All right, so that's what we're left with. Yeah, just solder. Surgery. All the freaking solder. Suck it in. John gotta do everything. All right, that's what we're left with. I gotta solder or crimp this wire back on. OEM, like nothing, just gonna zip tie that to that. So it's idling. When I remove the negative, the car still runs. So I know for a fact the alternator is charging. Topped out the fluids, topped off everything. I'm never gonna have to open this hood for the whole trip ever again. Maybe to check oil. Okay, so me and Jason's car are gonna live on the side of the shop here. I put a piece of oily cardboard on the windshield just so the dash doesn't crack more than it already is. But yeah, wave bye. All right. So there's my other car. There's the all track. Here's all the spare parts that it came with. I brought back most of it. And I'm bringing back a lot of stuff here. Oil pan, cam, pulleys, exhaust manifold, like three front covers, two valve covers, rocker arms, intake manifold. Because hopefully, if you guys want to buy any of this, hit me up.
Okay, we have left Dingus Vineyards and we are headed to Sizzle. And from there, we're gonna take off on the road. Strip it into the back of this Camry. Yeah. The nicest and stockiest these cars will ever be. It's only downhill from here. Take it all in, boys, because this is the nicest these cars are ever gonna be. Monday through Friday until 4 p.m. Unlimited salad bar, 12.29. Hot food, cold food, dessert. All you can eat at Sizzler is probably the best thing you can do before a 700 mile out, 700 mile drive. Jason volunteered to drive first. Okay, stupid. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still seeing you. We out of here. All right, thank God. Okay, so 10 hours, 47 minutes, or 704 miles. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, dang. Five north, Bedford. So got the odometer there. How many miles on that odometer? 100, no 10. 10. Lift the ship. 704 miles to go. All right, freaking going 45, which is probably slower because our speedo's off. Um, just going up this hill, butting up this hill. It's okay because big rigs are also crawling up this hill. This is like the grapevine, so once we get up over this, we'll be chilling. Fast and big rigs. Woo! Alright. So, we figured we'd just pull over just in case. Just to make sure nothing's spewing. This thing is not peaking, so we're good. Is <laughs> It's not working. But yeah, that got loose. That tensioner looks like... See the tensioner? Looks like it wiggled down. Alright, so I got this thing tied in and it's still loose. So maybe AC does work and it was slipping this whole time, but we're just gonna cut this belt off and I'll tighten this tensioner so it doesn't walk. All right, so just cut the belt off because it was not really doing anything except creating more drag. So let's continue. Okay, 10 hours? 10 hours. 10 hours and 651 miles to go. We're at 4,130 feet. We're going to descend a 7% grade. at 100 miles driven we're unsure how much gas we have so we're gonna fill up right here all right so the gas tank doesn't open it's kind of sticky but if you open up the trunk you'll see this little latch you kind of push it which is also kind of sticky you can definitely five gallons for 100 miles that should put us around 20 miles a gallon but we did a lot of idling and a lot of around town driving so in my head, I know we can go 200 miles on a tank. So we'll see how far we can go and we'll fill up at the next gas station. All right, and just in case, we got the fire extinguisher. If things get really serious around here. I got this cup holder game though, automatic. What I believe is a abandoned feed factory.
south. And this thing's hybrid. Averaging around 80 decibels. Approximately 196 miles from the last gas. 5.89, we'll say 5.9. This is what I'm talking about. 10.30, you get that for $4.50. Okay, not only are we getting 33 miles a gallon, yeah, 33 miles a gallon, we got a gallon of oil for 450. We got two of these. We got two of these from the clearance section. It is 10.30, it was like nine bucks. Third crank, third try. There we go, there we go. Okay, so it's dark in the car. Our gauge cluster doesn't work anymore, but uh, the morale is still good. We just gotta make sure we're not overheating. Okay, so Jason's just trying to figure out what RPM he needs to be at. To be at 70 on this gauge. And yeah, because only one side lights up now. Six hours, 35 minutes, and 434 miles left to go. So Jason's gonna try to draft this uh, big rig here, and we'll see if we get better than 33 miles a gallon. Hundred thirteen miles later, we only use three point one six nine or three point one seven gallons. We're getting about thirty seven miles a gallon. Okay, still looking very kosher under here. Oil's still good, and nothing is peeking out. Tonight we're gonna be reviewing the classic steak burger from Flying J and the coffee. Yona gato. Alright, so we are. Five hours, nine minutes, or 320 miles away. It tastes like a White Castle burger. The bread and cheese tastes very similar. So, me and Jason are both tired, and uh, we're just gonna keep moving, whether it's five miles or five seconds. 2 hours and 56 minutes or 183 miles. So, I don't know what's struggling more, this car or me and Jason to stay awake. Jason only made it 58 miles. Let's see if I can beat that record. Easy. dropped off Jason we only have 26 minutes and 20 miles left 
we're in Simi Valley. We just need to get back to the San Fernando Valley. That right there on the left, that is the sun. And it is rising. This is the first time this Corolla has ever seen traffic. Finished. <laughs>